Hey guys, this is Jason Abston from abstonphotography.com. I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to talk about the recent production of Beauty and the Beast held at Barnlot Theater in Edmonton. The play was outstanding. The costumes, the props, everything showed a, a lot of hard work and dedication by everyone involved. The performance of the actors was just amazing. Uh, this is a production that will certainly be one of their top productions in my opinion. It was an event that kept everyone entertained throughout the night. It opened to a full house of kids of all ages. Beauty and the Beast is one of those stories that seems to transcend generations from one to the next. Uh, it's just a terrific performance and if you're in the area I highly recommend that you will uh, stop by the theater and get a little more information about them as well as some of their upcoming performances. Also, I was wanting to take a few minutes to talk about some of the techniques used in photographing this event. Barnlight gives me the opportunity to photograph during the live performances of a lot of their productions, and I really, really appreciate them doing that. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoy doing it. Now, this play, like many of the others, features a lot of changing light uh, from bright one second to dark the next and it really changes the way that you have to change and adjust your exposures over like in here in a studio or some other way some of the photos that you see in this video were taken and while the exposure may be spot on you will notice if you look closely enough there may be a little bit of motion blur in those and it's because of having to use the slower shutter speeds just to get the exposure to the level that they needed to be. Also, the technique that I like to use on these is I'll try to keep my ISO as low as possible. However, there are times when it needs to be increased just to get the exposure necessary for the shot. If you increase your ISO, you're going to introduce more noise into the photos, which is something that we try to avoid as much as possible. However, there are some instances that it's not easy to do just because it is so dark. But using the combination of the right techniques, spending a little time in post-processing, you can clean those shots up very nicely. One of the things that I highly recommend is that you take an image stabilization lens with you. A lot of manufacturers have that type of lens available today. It really helps on getting the shots, especially in low light situations. It helps you to use a little faster shutter speeds, a little lower ISO so you don't get as much noise into the shots. And a lot of those lenses today are amazing in how much of the noise and how much stability they can add to the shot. You should also, if your camera has the capability of automatically adjusting your ISO I recommend that you do not do that because one of the things a lot of these plays do is they will feature a lot of colored lighting that really changes how your camera is going to perceive and calculate the exposure that it thinks that it needs and it's going to affect it in a wide range of areas I usually will shoot a lot of the plays in shutter priority I'll lock my shutter speed down and then I will let the f-stop drift to where the camera thinks it needs it however if I find that that's not working I will go into full manual and adjust either through exposure bracketing or just a quick adjust with the wheel on my camera to raise or lower the shutter speed just whatever I need to get the shots but it's a combination of technique and technology to pull off a lot of these shots and there are some great great cameras out there that are not very expensive that will do amazing work. changing light and a live performance is something that is virtually impossible to predict if you would like uh, one technique is to actually go to the play view the play kind of study the lighting the changes in the lighting before you actually go the next time and shoot uh, a lot of the photography that I do at Barn Lot, a lot of those plays, I'm there on opening night. It's my first experience seeing the play, but seeing the patterns, studying the patterns of the actors, the characters, as well as how the lighting plays in each scene will kind of give you an idea and let you judge where you need to go with your exposure to get just the right shot. 
It is challenging at times, but it is also very fun and it will greatly improve your photography skills if you get the opportunity to go somewhere and shoot a live performance. It's just once again, experience. I'd like to thank everyone at Barnlight Theater. Visit their website at barnlighttheater.org. Uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to take the photos during the performances. Uh, please visit their website, check out, see what they've got coming up next. Also, I uh, just want to say thank you for watching the video. Uh, visit my website at abstinphotography.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I really appreciate your time. Thank you.